So I was asked the question, how do you, um, how do you stop complaining and be more grateful? Well, you know, for me there's, um, there's different levels of consciousness. The more you're uh, identified with thinking, the more you're going to complain and have negative thoughts. So the first thing is, if I want to be more grateful, uh, gratitude is a field of consciousness, which is an absence of identification with thinking. So naturally one becomes more happy, more peaceful, and more grateful, the less one is hooked into thinking. Yeah. So if I'm, uh, if I'm identified with a lot of complaining negative thoughts, then I could, there's a few things, I could go to the observer of those thoughts and go to the detached observer of those thoughts. Then a natural state of happiness and gratitude will come in. So that, <clears throat> that's one way of letting go of um, complaining thoughts and feeling uh, uh, ungrateful. So, <clears throat> so gratitude comes, from, you know, the, m the less one is hooked into thoughts, the more happier uh, and the more grateful one is because the intrinsic nature of uh, the eternal now, or the present moment of being in the observer is happiness and freedom. And what is especially happy and free about is it's not hooked into negative thinking and negative bodies and negative analysis. That's what creates the happiness because all of that creates negativity. So that's one way of doing it naturally. The other way to do it <clears throat> is, you know, I do this, a simple thing that we learn in 12-step programs is just to write daily gratitude lists. So every morning I write a list of things I'm grateful for. And if you do that every day, you start to feel it's, it works. You start to feel more and more grateful. Mm. Um, and um, so I had complaining thoughts. So complaining is a form of, um, complaining is like resentment. Complaining is like, oh, if things were different, <clears throat> then I'd be happy. So, uh, so, com <clears throat> so, when you're identified with, so really, <clears throat> again, so to realize that's an illusion, you know, like uh, if you don't want to change, uh, then your, your happiness is based on being able to control the world to be happy. Like if I could, if everyone beha was uh, behaved differently, then I'd be happy. So that can never happen because no one can like, orchestrate the whole world to behave the way they want it to be. So if you let that go, uh, then uh, realize that that can never work. Another thing I think with complaining thoughts and negative thoughts is that people believe that if you're in fear or negative thinking, that's constructive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, one of the core ideas in the ego is that fear and thinking is required for survival. Fear, like if I can complain and criticize and understand the whole situation, I'll be able to survive better in the world because my cleverness and my intelligence will make me survive. And uh, one of the things that you know, we study here in The Course of Miracles uh, is that uh, God is the source of my security, or, I, or being in the observer, or being in the eternal now, or being in that freedom is actually the thing that guarantees um, survival and freedom. And anyone who's uh, been in the observer or been in spiritual states realizes that, that those are the times when life is sublime, when you're free and happy, and it's like life is looking after you. And actually, you'll see from your experience, when you're in more fear and negativity, actually life is more difficult. So, so it's just to understand, to let go of the idea that fear and complaining thoughts, because some people think that it's good for you. So you can, you can let that go. So yeah, it's an interesting question to answer. Like why, why, what's the payoff from continuously holding on to complaining thoughts? And is that, you know, and, and you find that, that, that the payoff is not, not good for you in truth.